so since it has officially been about a year since I first started my print-on-demand journey on Tee Public, I thought I would give you an update and a breakdown of how exactly I did. I've definitely found Tee Public to be a bit more of a challenge than Redbubble, uh, just simply because of their upload process and slightly less advanced uh, website functionality, especially on the back end for sellers. But I'm certainly grateful that it exists and provides this wonderful platform for sellers to upload their designs and make sales passively. I know a lot of people say they have trouble with TeePublic. I personally haven't really had any issues with them so far, especially with the whole uh, my designs aren't showing up in search. I've found that it's best to just uh, continuously upload designs that people are looking for and it seems like they may begin showing up in search in waves and then if someone does end up purchasing the visible designs in search then more of them will continue to become visible. TeePublic also seems to have a bit of a beef with those who do not reside in a predominantly English-speaking country, so that is something to consider. I believe there are successful uh, Tee Public sellers who do not, in fact, reside in a predominantly English-speaking country, but it is still something to consider and be aware of. So, real quick, a little bit of backstory about how I got into print-on-demand, how I started my journey in the first place. Tee Public has definitely been a rather interesting journey for this past year. I've definitely learned a lot and although Tee Public is definitely not as lucrative, at least for me, as Redbubble has been for the most part, I'm still very glad that I have taken the time to upload designs to Tee Public as well and hopefully Tee Public will be able to uh, improve its website functionality. We can certainly see signs of them improving their website over this last year, even since I started a year ago, and hopefully they will continue to do so. So let us hop into my screen and take a look at my lifetime earnings as well as my statistics for Tee Public for my first officially completed year on the platform. I created my Tee Public account not too long after I created my Redbubble shop, perhaps by a couple of weeks, but I am certainly very glad that I did. As you can see, this is my storefront, and on TeePublic at least, I have uploaded a grand total of 245 designs with more ready to be uploaded, and I have 22 followers. And I do have two designs under review to be a part of the TeePublic Partner Program. I will make a video updating you guys on exactly how that goes and whether or not my designs are in fact accepted or not. <laughs> so for the entire lifetime of my account, I have made a grand total of $181.50 and sold 110 products, which is about 70 fewer than on Redbubble. However, the difference in earnings is so drastic because on TeePublic, you are not permitted to uh, change your artist margins, which are often also cut entirely in half by TeePublic's frequent sales. As you can see, it has been a rather slow month for June. But that is alright, because I did fairly well on Tee Public last month in May, so I am not too terribly worried. If you are considering creating a print-on-demand account with Tee Public or even Redbubble, I would definitely suggest trying it out and seeing if it is a good fit for you. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you found it helpful, and if you did, Please don't forget to boop the like button and subscribe for more content just like this. Alright, I will see you in the next one. Uh, bye bye